It's the Wine Country Saturday Soundtrack Podcast. You know, on Saturdays, we play fun music and we feature great information at 993thevine.com with me, Big Rick Stewart, and music from my time at Live 105 and at KFOG. We also mix in some stories that I find kind of interesting, whether it's local music or food or tech or just kind of some cool things I think you ought to know about. It's always lots of fun. Fun music and great information happens every Saturday at 993thevine.com. And the Wine Country Saturday Soundtrack podcast features great information like this. I'm Big Rick Stewart. It's the Wine Country Saturday Soundtrack. Thanks for hanging out today as harvest is in full swing, right? And uh, I saw this over at the Napa Valley Vintners YouTube channel, and I thought, oh, this is so good. I'm going to share this with everybody. A little interview with Jacob, who is from Pennsylvania. He's a student at UC Davis, and he's an intern in the Napa Valley. He's currently over at Venji Vineyards in NVV. Asked him to talk about what it's like to be a Napa Valley intern. Check this out. Why did you choose Napa Valley to come out here and work in the wine industry? I think that there's just so much allure, I guess. You know, being in Napa, there's almost something mythological about it, about being in this real piece of history for American winemaking. There's nothing else like it. And what is the best part about being out here in Napa Valley in the wine industry so far? I'd say the, the resources and the community. There's just so much infrastructure here in terms of, you know, the actual different businesses and the things for wine, but also in terms of people. There's a lot of different uh, facets to the industry that all are here and people are very friendly and always willing to connect. Is there any advice to somebody who wants to come out here and do an internship? I think in the limited experience that I've had so far, the biggest piece of advice that I could give would just be to always be connecting with people, always be reaching out, always be introducing yourself. You know, people are friendly and there's a lot of desire for camaraderie and for having a tight-knit community. And so I think if you just put yourself out there, introduce yourself, that you can go a really long way. That's Jacob from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, who's hanging out here in Napa Valley. Thanks for uh, sharing your information with us, Napa Valley Vintners. Check them out on YouTube, online at NapaVintners.com, and also a really cool webpage they put together for lots of local resources called DreamWorkNapa.com. They're doing all kinds of good stuff. Hey, everybody, have a great harvest, and thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm Big Rick Stewart. It's the Wine Country Saturday Soundtrack at 99.3 The Vine. I'm Big Rick Stewart. It's the Wine Country Saturday soundtrack. Oh, some fun music and great information. Thanks for hanging out with me. Tell your friends we do this all day, every Saturday. It's so much fun to do this and passing on information like, okay, you know, I know entertainment will begin in force for the holiday season, right? You're going to have friends over, maybe a little Thanksgiving, the holidays, just because, whatever. You want to make a good drink for them. And by drink, I'm talking about some alcoholic drinks. Or a little Napa Valley wine, not a problem. But I mean, if you want to start your bartending career, you got to have the basics covered. I'm going to tell you what I think is the greatest drink ever. Everything else is good and maybe tied for a second. But I'm saying this, you will not go wrong with a good gin and tonic. Oh, yeah, gin and tonic, it's a classic, right? There's a reason it's a classic. And there's actually some pretty crazy history behind the gin and tonic. Gin and tonic kind of comes from back in the day when British troops would come down with malaria in India and other places like that. They were treated with quinine water. In fact, today you can still treat malaria with quinine. Well, it turned out that it didn't really taste that good. But the British troops added a little of that British gin and all of a sudden they were okay having a little, little medical treatment. So nowadays you can get all kinds of different gins with different flavors and more. You can get the traditional London dry gins you can get different flavored gins and lots of different tonic water flavored in different ways your recipe couldn't be much easier two ounces of gin four ounces of chilled tonic water put it in a glass full of ice run a lime or a lemon or a grapefruit wedge along the rim and drop it in and you have an excellent gin and tonic a refreshing drink good year round good for entertaining and off you go to experiment and try your favorite flavors. I'm Big Rick Stewart. It's the Wine Country Saturday soundtrack. Now I want one here at 99.3 The Vine. 
Big Rick Stewart. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It's the Wine Country Saturday soundtrack. Always playing lots of fun music and sharing great information. Here's a little update on former Stanford star quarterback Andrew Luck. As you probably know, he uh, did a pretty good job playing quarterback at Stanford and went on to play for the Indianapolis Colts in the NFL. And then he decided to retire because you have to be really smart to get into Stanford. And he was smart enough after a few injuries playing in the NFL to say, you know, I have a whole life ahead of me. I'm just going to sit around here and get beat up. So here's what he's up to these days. Andrew Luck is working part time with the Palo Alto High School football team right across the street from Stanford University, where he re-enrolled last fall to earn his master's degree in education. The head coach over at Palo Alto says, I mean, no surprise, it's great to have someone of that caliber on your staff and the kids love it. And I think Andrew's loving it as well. I think he's mostly working with the JV team right now in just a few days a week, but he's doing pretty good. And you may have seen Andrew Luck on Thursday Night Football for the 49ers home game. He was dressed in a Civil War era military uniform because there's this Twitter parody persona, Captain Andrew Luck, and he decided to play along and do that. So he's back in the Bay Area, going to Stanford, having fun, helping kids out, and, you know, taking things not too seriously. I like that. I always like Andrew. Andrew Luck. He's awesome, and there's a reason he's in the College Football Hall of Fame, right? I'm Big Rick Stewart. It's the Wine Country Saturday soundtrack right here at 99.3 The Vine. I'm Big Rick Stewart. It's the Wine Country Saturday soundtrack. Fun music and great information. That is what we do. Hey, you know, uh, winter time's coming, obviously. The time change and all that stuff. And it's going to get a little chilly. You're just going to want to sit and curl up and maybe turn on your Blu-ray player. What? You don't have one of those? You stream everything? Come on, man. If you don't have a Blu-ray player, how can you watch the brand new Disney Blu-ray box set? Oh, man. Wait till you hear about this. I saw this over at billboard.com. Now, it's available for pre-order right now. And it is called the Legacy Animated Film Collection. And it's all from Disney and also Pixar because, well, Disney and Pixar, right? And the content they offer goes back to 1937. It's amazing. The set includes three volumes of 100 Disney and Pixar animated movies on Blu-ray. And, of course, big names like Snow White and the Seven Drawers, Pinocchio, The Lion King, Cars is there, The Little Mermaid, Frozen, Dumbo, Bambi, Peter Pan. And Lady and the Tramp, a goofy movie, Toy Story, A Bug's Life, you know, all the stuff. Of course, there's bonus content as well. You get a digital code for all the movies in case you just want to watch them digitally. Uh, also, you get the original theater poster artwork, a collectible crystal Mickey Mouse ears hat. Wow, right? Uh, plus all kinds of content and 18 additional discs of bonus content from Pixar with each film's original release and everything else. It's going to be available November 14th exclusively from Walmart. Oh, it costs $1,500 for this collection. But that's a lot of Disney Pixar content. Am I right? Get this, enjoy, and make a few big buckets of popcorn and tell me all about it. I'm Big Rick Stewart. It's the Wine Country Saturday soundtrack at 99.3 The Vine. I'm Big Rick Stewart. It's the Wine Country Saturday soundtrack. Wrapping up the month of September, heading into October. Hey, maybe treat yourself to a little something something. I'm talking about a Northern California lakefront winery for sale. I mean, they have like all the things you need. They have lots of planted grapes. They already have contracts to sell uh, their vineyard grapes to some local wineries. They have olive trees. They have all that good stuff. They have a few different houses and all kinds of things going on at Siago which is owned by a Northern California wine name, you may recall. It's owned by Jim Fetzer of, yes, the Fetzer Wine Company. All right, so what's the deal here? Well, this is on Clear Lake. It is waterfront property on Clear Lake, a 163-acre estate. They have all kinds of things going on, and they actually have an approval to turn it into like a resort with some more housing and more. Siago is known as a green wine grower using organic and biodynamic practices. And they have all kinds of things planted there already. Cabernet, Sauvignon Blanc, Syrah, Chardonnay, Cab Franc, and Malbec are there. It used to be open to the public, but it's not anymore. In fact, I remember a couple times taking a boat 
to the boat dock there and having some public wine tastings and it's just fantastic. Hey, you could even have a seaplane and fly into your winery up at Clear Lake. They just had the seaplane festival out of Lakeport. Asking price, $21 million. Negotiable, I guess. Seago, C-E-A-G-O.com for more information. I love that place. I hope somebody buys it and opens it to the public again. I'm Big Rick Stewart. Could be for you and your business partners. It's the Wine Country Saturday soundtrack at 99.3 The Vine. I'm Big Rick Stewart. It's the Wine Country Saturday soundtrack. Fun music and great information. That's what we do here every Saturday. Thanks for hanging out with me and tell your friends. Maybe tell your friends, and you guys can all go in on this, a trip to Paris, France. But no, hey, this isn't just a trip to Paris, France. This is a travel company that is offering Emily in Paris holidays. Yeah, like, kind of cool. Now, I don't know if they can officially call it an Emily in Paris holiday, but that's kind of what the theme is here. I mean, I don't know if it's approved by the TV show. The TV show, by the way, if you don't know, it's on Netflix. It's pretty fun. Yeah, even guys, you probably will like this. It's a rom-com, but it's cool. I think it's in its third season now. So there's a new tour company that is running a five-night guided tour that will follow the footsteps of Lily Collins, the American marketing executive, Emily Cooper, in the show. You know, this American moves to Paris and does things and has adventures and more. And of course, Paris is incredibly beautiful. I've been there once. There was a lot of people there, but it is totally beautiful. Uh, on the agenda are some pastry classes, also behind the scenes location tours, a content capture trip for your, you know, gram and, uh, you know, all your uh, uh, online social media stuff. So you can look really cool. Uh, they'll take you all kinds of places, maybe some Paris fashion stores, cocktail making classes included. They say we crafted these trips to ensure guests leave Paris with something more meaningful than just a souvenir beret and some photos. Uh, they say our conviction is that the future of travel is not about where, but the why. I guess. How about how much? Well, this costs $2,500, and the travel company is called Dharma, D H A R M A, and you can look into their Emily in Paris holiday. And you can go and have a special trip and tell all your friends and show photos. I like it. Hey, I'm Big Rick Stewart. It's the Wine Country Saturday soundtrack here at 99.3 The Vine. Well, those are some stories that I have featured on the Wine Country Saturday soundtrack. Tune in at 8 a.m. every Saturday at 99.3thevine.com. I'm Big Rick Stewart here. Music from my days at Live 105 and Cape Fog. Some current songs, lots of surprises and more. It's always lots of fun. We have a 10 at 10, a Beatles brunch at noon. It happens all day. The Wine Country Saturday soundtrack and the Wine Country Saturday soundtrack podcast. Tell your friends and thanks for listening to this podcast. And thanks for checking out 99.3 thevine.com